you guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm doing an April's hits and misses um I have quite a bit of stuff to show you and I'm super excited so I'm gonna start with the hits and then we'll get into the misses after we get through the positive stuff the first two hits uh, and you may have seen this in my Walmart haul if not I'm gonna be uploading a Walmart haul soon um so my first two hits are L'Oreal's True Match Foundation. This is the shade W2. I am wearing it today. I love this foundation. It's full coverage, which I love full coverage. I don't need something light. I want something that's gonna... If I'm putting on makeup, I want it to look like I got makeup on. So it's super full coverage. Covers everything up. It doesn't break up around the nose. doesn't break up between the brows. I totally recommend L'Oreal True Match Foundation. Something that I pair that with is this Nivea's Men's Shave After Balm. Uh, sensitive skin post shave balm. <laughs> um, I use this as a primer. I heard about this by watching YouTube videos and I thought it was just really such a huge hype. I didn't think people were, I didn't think it was really worth it. I didn't know how much it was. It's only five dollars. It comes with a plastic lid and a glass case. Uh, super cheap and Oh my gosh, I've never had a primer that does what this does to my face. This, my skin feels like velvet, like the Maybelline Velvet um, foundation. This is the feeling you get when you wear it. It literally feels like soft velvet. And my pores, what pores? I don't have any more pores when I wear this stuff. It's gone. Like it looks like I, it looks like my face has been airbrushed and it stays like this for hours. So. I definitely give this like three thumbs up. If you have the chance to pick this up, get it. It's not a hype. It's the truth. This stuff is amazing. It's very tacky, so it keeps your foundation on. These two together are like bread and butter. If you have the chance to get them both, I definitely recommend it. I have um, combination to uh, dry skin and my skin is sensitive. Um, so there you go. If you have somewhat skin like me, then pick these up you need it in your life the next thing that i'm going to talk about is a mascara um i want to give a little shout out to alicia coakley alicia coakley gave me a lot of unique products for free to do a review of um to try them out and give her a shout out and i am going to give my honest opinion um i have not tried where is it i have not tried this yet this is a pigment it's a silver pigment uh, I just haven't had the chance, I haven't had the chance to wear it because I haven't wanted to do like a silver smoke yeah yet and I just haven't, it's spring, I just haven't pulled this out yet. So I'll get back to you guys on that if I try it out. I've also tried the, um, mas uh, I'm sorry, not mascara, I've also tried the Moonstruck Precision Pencil Eyeliner in the shade Perfect. You guys, this has become my holy glow. Holy Grail Black Liner. I started off with Jordana's liners, which um, are, they're all right. They're super cheap. And if you can't afford an expensive eyeliner, then I recommend them. Uh, I then got the NYX eyeshadow eyeliner in the shade Black. And again, it was all right. It was $8. Um, it was all right. It's creamy and it's affordable. And then I got this. And uh, I believe she told me they were 15 bucks a piece or 2 I don't remember the prices. Oh my gosh. I don't know, but they're not horribly expensive. And I totally recommend this. I know whenever I run out of this, I'm going to want to repurchase this. This is so pigmented, so creamy. It stays in the waterline all day, all night. Um, you can wash away your makeup and it's going to leave um, that black liner in there. So it just gives you... I don't know. You know whenever you take your makeup off but you still got the eyeliner in there? Well, this stays on and I like that personally because I like to, I don't know, I have dark features so I like whenever I have a little bit of black liner left in my eyes. I'm gonna leave her um, information in the bottom bar. I'm gonna leave a link to her website. I honestly and totally recommend this eyeliner. The next thing that I was going to talk about is the Moonstruck 3D Fiber Lash Mascara. So when you buy this, uh, I don't know how much this is either. Um, it comes with, with fibers um, and it comes with mascara. Um, so I'm going to be honest about this, you guys. And I, so you see that tip, right? I'm gonna be very honest. Um, 
I don't like the fibers. <laughs> I have very full and long lashes as they are. This just clumps them up and it doesn't look good on me. This is the box it comes in, super pretty. I don't like the fibers. Um, nothing much to say about them. If you don't have any lashes and you can't afford lash extensions, then I would totally recommend using the fibers. It just takes so long. It takes me like 10 minutes and I just don't like the way they look. I'm not satisfied with the way they look after applying fibers, but, but I am in love with this mascara. Um, in love, in love, in love. This is a gel. That's what it's called. Mascara gel. I don't know. But this tip is amazing. When you're going into the eye and you want to get right in the inner corner and then right on the outer corner, it's not going to... Sometimes you know how you can get it on your face and then you have to wait for it to dry to remove it. This is so easy not to get all over you that it's just amazing. Like, I don't know. I've never... I don't own a tip like this for a mascara and it just makes applying mascara so much easier. I don't know how much this is. I wish they sold these separately, honestly, the gel and the fibers, but they I don't think they do. I really wish they did. Really wish they did. All right, so the next thing that I want to talk about that is a total hit are these brushes right here. I have been wanting to talk about these for so long. I was going, going to do a separate eBay haul because I ordered like four things, but I will include everything that I ordered from eBay in this hits and misses video. So this is the first thing that I was so excited about, like so excited, I can't even describe to you guys. So I got these for $8, $8. These are about 25 to 30 bucks a piece at Walmart. Um, this is the metal collection from Real Techniques. Um, it comes with seven pieces on eBay. Um, the ones in Walmart I have taken out of the packaging and held, they are fully metal. These are not. These, this part right here is metal and then this is plastic, which I don't even care about. To be honest, I really don't care. The brush feels exactly the same as the one in Walmart. So the first brush is, I'll start and I'll zoom in for you guys. This first brush is a angled eyeliner brush. I have not used it yet. Um, I don't do winged liner, so I don't really um, need brushes for that, but I will probably use this to fill in my brows with the e.l.f. Eyebrow Duo. The next brush is, I'm going to start with the silver collection since I started with that one. This next brush is um, just a big fluffy crease brush and I don't use this for my crease personally. I use this for nose contouring and it is so perfect. So perfect to get right in between your nose, right on the bottom. It's small, it's big, but it's not big enough. It's too big for my eye, but it's not too big to contour your nose. Perfect for your nose. The next brush I have is another one, another fluffy brush. This one I uh, use to contour my nose when the other one's dirty. That's why it has the brown on it. Um, it's again, too big for my eye. I think one of these is a concealer brush, but I'm not sure which one. Probably this one is a bit bigger. Um, I don't use brushes to blend my concealer out. I use a damp beauty blender. So if you do, then this would totally probably be awesome. These are super soft. These brushes are just amazing. So the next ones I'm going to talk about are these peachy pink ones. This one is a blush brush. Uh, I've used it for blush. It's amazing. Super soft. These go from ombre pink to white. Uh, I love that about these. So not much to say. That one's just a um, blush brush. This next one was the one I was like really most excited about. This is the contouring brush. It's a bit, it's very dense and it's super soft and it's not very big. Um, I love this. I don't use it very much for contouring. I'm, I usually use my angled contouring brush. So I will, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this is not my go-to contouring brush, um, but I have used it before and it is very good. It's just not my go-to. The last two are the yellow or gold metal brushes. Uh, this one is dirty because I have used it to apply my makeup today. Uh, this is the foundation brush. Um, it has three flat sides to it. So it's got that flat side, that side, and that side triangle look to it, which I thought was very interesting. I've never had a brush like this. I use this um, to put my foundation on my face and then I blend my foundation out with my beauty blender. This is very streaky and I don't personally think it will work to 
apply foundation and then do nothing else but it is very easy to get right in the nose area and put your foundation in there but personally this just doesn't work by itself i then go in with my beauty blender and blend it out but i will say i use less product with this than i do with the beauty blender so if i go in with my foundation with my beauty blender it's going to soak it all up but this i use to apply it and then i blend it out with this and i use way less foundation than i did before and the last brush that i'm going to talk about is this big fluffy brush uh not much to say about it it's very just beautiful it's just a uh these yellow ones go from yellow to white they're ombre and not much to say about it it's just a fluffy brush it works perfectly if you want to apply powder i've been trying not to use these in tutorials because i wanted to do a separate ebay haul but i'm i will start using them i've been using them and i can say this is an awesome fluffy brush next thing i got from ebay tit are these milani lipsticks i believe these are like five dollars and some change um, I'm wearing the shade uh, Matte Diva right now. They are so pigmented and so creamy. This one is matte. It's got a little bit of, um, it's not kiss proof. It's not like a liquid lipstick, but it's only got a little bit of, you know, comes off when you touch it. This shade right here is called Blushing Beauty. I will swatch it for you. I love Milani's lipsticks. There's This one has a little bit of a sheen to it. These are my favorite drugstore lipsticks for sure. And then this one is called Tuscan, Tuscan Toast. And I love this one too. This one has a little bit of a sheen to it as well. It's not the matte um, line. So here are the swatches of those. Tuscan Toast and what was this one called? and blushing beauty this one is coming off a little different on camera it looks like it's a little bit more orange tone and it's not it's very a very rosy pink but this one is true to its color on camera so it's time to go in with some misses i'm very disappointed with the first one like very disappointed my first miss Sadly, goes to ColourPop, which is a brand that I have fallen in love with. I've never had a miss from them. I've never had something I was disappointed in. But this is, just was really disappointing. So this was $6. It is a liquid uh, lipstick in the shade Pacific. I was really excited for this because it's so different. Um, I'll swatch it for you guys. So this is what the swatch looks like. It's very orange, very different. I was excited for spring and summer with this, but um, sadly it was super patchy on my lips. <sighs> it sucks, but I I tried to go over it. I went over it like four or five times, but it was just super patchy and it didn't work out. Pigmentation is on point, color is on point, but the formula for this color was not good, which was surprising because I didn't know that they had the different colors had different formulas. Like all my liquid lipsticks have applied the same way, they've worn the same way, but this one is just different. I don't know what's the difference in it, but it's different. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this hits and misses video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.